Hi. Let's check out the GX100 and the Boss Tone Studio Editor, which is available for Windows or Mac. If you don't own a GX100, you can still download the editor and check out the features that are available with it. So plug in a USB cable, and let's check out the Boss Tone Studio Editor. Head on over to the boss.info website and scroll down to Downloads. Now when you're using the Boston Studio Editor, you want to make sure you have the latest firmware installed on your GX100 or any Boss product that has Boston Studio. Find your applicable operating system, click on the link, scroll down to the bottom after reading all this information, click Agree, and download the file. Once you've installed Boston Studio, you'll see the presets on the left side of the screen. You'll notice that the layout in the editor is very similar to the touchscreen on the GX100 and works basically the same way. You can drag in effects, drag in effects on top of the effects to overwrite, and you can turn on and off effects with the button you see there. All the parameters are displayed. You can change the type and name organizations of all your effects available. In the control slash exp, you'll find your button assignments, as well as the assign menu, which allows you to assign functions to different buttons. The knob setting menu will change what the four knobs under the screen do. And then you also have MIDI implementation as well. Under in out settings, this is where you will control the input level of your guitar, as well as a global EQ for shaping your tone precisely. Saving your patch, click right, click right again, you can also initialize a patch here to create a blank canvas for you to create a patch with. In Librarian View, you create live sets to save and store your different patches and organize them in a manner that suits you. Simply drag the preset into the live set you've created, and you can create a little bank of presets that you save into the librarian. This is where you also rename patches. You can also drag patches into the GX100 and overwrite patches that you have saved. The librarian is really handy if you have a large amount of patches that you want to change in and out of your GX100. Say you're a cover band and you have different set lists for each night. You can export these settings to the GX100 or you can import them from the GX100 or a file. Tone Central is where you'll find a curated selection of new patches to download and try with the GX100. In this case, we have the Leon Todd collection. Simply click on any of the patches to audition it directly onto the GX100. Once it's loaded, you'll find the signal path displayed in the editor window. You can also click Add to add the entire artist's live set to your librarian view which then you can take those patches, audition them, drag them into your GX100, or create a custom live set to save for later. You have the tuner, which can be set to mono or polyphonic mode. And you also have a menu full of your settings. Notable settings in here includes a link to the manual, as well as device settings, which is where you select the USB device. You also have a way to back up all of the information of your GX100 as a save file. The GX100 editor is also available for phone or tablet should you have the optional Bluetooth adapter that plugs into the back of the unit. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.